Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're just starting an annual on an airplane, and we notice exhaust staining right here by the cow latch release. And we go, okay, so let's go take and see where it might be coming from now that the cowling is off. And we go, ah, cylinder number two. You've been getting hot. I can see from here, you won't be able to see it in the viewfinder, but the uh, bead clamp is failing. And from the color on the pipes, both cylinder number two and number four have been getting warm. Okay, so here we are back looking at this uh, Tiger, and we can see that we've got some erosion there and a hole. But then we look up the baffles, the baffles are just shot. And uh, probably explains why we're seeing heat on the engine. I mean, they're just, they're just gone. So we'll be pulling the nose ball off in a minute and taking a look further. But um, these are all things that you should check on your extended pre-flight and because um, you want them in good shape before you go fly so that's absolutely very bad as Ken says um, these baffle seals are suffering from quite a bit of gap gaposis and here we are back looking at the baffles again notice that there's a hole right here there is a hole around the spark plug both sides we've already called out uh, the bad baffle seals there are leaks up in the front where it's worn completely through the baffle seal material right here completely completely worn well, let me get my where I am completely worn through so we'll be redoing all this baffle seal um, it's all in terrible shape more to come well we were looking at the cowling and we're looking at the we had to drill out one of the screws to get it off the aircraft and we happen to notice that the original fiberglass air vents are collapsing restricting the airflow which is another thing causing this engine to run hot and then this one is completely pop loose and this one's this one's wiggling so we're going to be replacing those with metal ones but I'm surprised this hasn't been caught before because this just didn't happen recently it's been like that for a while and the collapse of the fiberglass has been going on for a while so we're going to go ahead and take out that screw but just more cooling issues with our Grumman Tiger well, we were down here changing the main oil sump gasket when we discovered yet another big hole where all the alternator wires come through. And as you can see, that's quite a good size hole. Let me uh, keep the camera on it and come back in so I can get behind the alternator. Kind of gives you an idea of how big that hole is. Yep, a lot of cooling air going out. So we'll be fixing all of that. We also noticed that the alternator door let me find the alternator door opens under pressure so we'll be fixing that as well lots of um, cooling issues on this tiger more to come and as we can see these two cylinders are getting pretty warm so we've got the exhaust leaks going on and we've got some heat going on and we look up at the baffles and we go well the baffle seals have been powder coated it's a nice pretty pattern this baffle seal looks like it's probably functioning until we notice uh-oh there's no overlap, even though there's a jog in here to overlap it on, and it's been spilling the air out in flight, and that's why these two cylinders are very hot. And we'll have to take a real good look at them and see if they've had any excessive heat. So that's the first couple of finds, and now we're going to walk around to the other side. And, well, there you go. There's a nice big hole right there in the uh, baffle. And no heat distress on this side on the uh, pipes. 